welcome to this quick guide to modern Red 4 AAA in DCS World. When it comes to AAA, Red 4 have a few different options. The most basic of these is the ZSU-23. These twin 23mm auto cannons have been in service since the 1960s and are still used today. They're effective up to about 2.5km or 1.3 nautical miles and their operational altitude limit is around 2km or 6,500 feet. There are four choices of the basic ZSU-23 in DCS. These are the closed emplacement, the emplacement, the insurgent closed emplacement, and the insurgent emplacement. ZSU-23-2 Ural. There's a choice between two variants in DCS. You can either have the normal or the insurgent variant. It's just a ZSU-23 bolted to the back of a Ural truck. This makes it mobile, but it does not have the radar that the Shilka has. ZSU-23-4 Shilka. This self-propelled AAA is effectively four of the 23mm autocannons mounted on a turret, making it a very mobile and capable AAA unit. It even has its own built-in radar to allow it to range and track targets. ZSU-57-2 This 1950s AAA is both incredibly powerful and limited in its uses. The twin 57mm autocannons can only fire about 40-50 to 50 rounds before overheating and needing to cool. This, paired with its lack of radar guidance, means that it's not very effective against jet aircraft. Despite this, it's still in service in some countries today, but it's not something I'd like to come across if I was flying a helicopter. It has a maximum slant range of 7km or 3.8 nautical miles. If you want to learn about the AAA options that Blue 4 has, then check out this video. I hope you found this guide helpful. I'd appreciate a like if you did. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the skies.